the answer is immunocompromised patients should get boosts this winter, and I'll explain why. Well, what's the background? Well, it's a big group of patients, people with organ transplant, those on chemo, those on immunosuppressants, with primary deficiencies or conditions like HIV. It's up to half a million people. They've always been more likely to get infection. And on top of that, they've got blunted immune response, which means that vaccines don't work quite as well. But this doesn't mean that vaccines don't work, and it doesn't mean that boosters won't work. Many studies have been done, including my UK COVID cancer program, and we're seeing across the board, there is a boost effect. It's not as strong as someone who doesn't have these conditions, but there is a boost effect. Why should it be done? Well, COVID-19 is still with us. You don't hear about it as often, but people are still ending up in hospital, and the people which do get unwell from COVID are more likely to be immune and compromised. Taking up a booster reduces its risk. I also need to say a few more things so you've heard them. Firstly, if you feel uncomfortable, it's absolutely the right thing to do to avoid someone who's clearly unwell or got a bad infection. Just move. Number two, if you want to wear a mask, wear it. It reduces your risk. Number three, if you've got COVID, let someone know. Let your GP and hospital doctor know. They want to know. They can give you access to antiviral drugs this winter and that will help you get better quicker. Finally, I think it just goes without saying, we're coming out of this pandemic. It's clearly a little bit difficult at the moment. We know you want to live as normal life as possible and vaccines haven't been the silver bullet for your group, but new treatments will come and there are many tools that you can use at the moment to stay, stay safe and this includes the uptake of boosters.